What's up guys, it's Barca Boy here and today we've probably got our biggest game of the season so far. It's in the League Cup at home versus Swansea and as always I'm feeling confident. There's no other way to deny or say it. I am feeling pretty confident about this game. Uh, I feel like we can give these guys a good game. I'm still trying to get a couple of my extra players into particularly some more attacking options because I feel I'm quite light on the attacking side of of things but uh yeah okay so jack cork is feeling a little bit uh jaded so we'll put in dean hammond there for him and i think we are good to go with that so hope you enjoy the match i'll just go and do my match preparation now this game was definitely going to be the toughest of the season so far and we put them under a lot of pressure and we really attacked them and it eventually did pay off as you can see here this is the goal it's a lovely bit of passing beautiful ball and Morgan Schneiderlin who's supposed to be my defensive midfielder scores the goal he likes to get himself on the score sheet now and again then we constantly seem to control the game but you know Swansea as the game progressed got a couple of chances and this was sort of like a goal line scuffle that we could manage to clear and then the biggest decision in the match was Swansea's disallowed goal was against Wayne Routledge for offside he makes a lovely finish of it Swansea as far as I know also had some sort of a penalty shout but at the end the game finished 1-0 I'm absolutely delighted with that result now. Delighted. It's always nice to be a Premier League team, even though the match wasn't that great at all to watch. Um, uh, you know, you gotta, you gotta be, you know, pretty happy with them after winning a match against the Premier League side. And you know, club is going in the right place anyway. Uh, so we're through to the next round of the League Cup. That's pretty decent. And then our next match now is against. Big Brighton and all Hull of Albion. So I suppose I will see you then. I'm off to go and get drunk and celebrate winning the um, League Cup match. Go on. So my next game is against Brighton. And as you can see, it's first versus second. And we're playing away to Brighton. So it's, although it's early in the season, it's quite a big game. Brighton, if you don't know, they have Vicente, who back a good few years ago was considered one of the best wingers in the world. Uh, when he was at Valencia, when he was, you know, up and coming youngster. Uh, so he's going to possess quite a lot of quality. But that's not to say we don't have a bit of quality to counter what what he has. Um, so let me continue on and go to my team selection. I have to introduce you guys to two new players to the team. The first is Marco Pad Padalino. He's a uh, Swiss. He's obviously got Italian blood as well. Uh, nothing two major he's just got a bit of pace and uh, he'll give me a little bit more strength down the right wing as well seeing as though i haven't got much cover for right wing if uh, steve the ritter gets injured and of course my main man here yaya sanogo and this guy is the kind of striker i like particularly for this uh formation um you can see physically he's fairly strong for an 18 year old these physical stats won't change a huge amount now from now on but as I said before, up until the age of 24, a player will continue to develop his technical attributes. So I can expect his finish and head to all go up. And as you can see, he's six for four as well. So for picking this guy up for 2.6 million, give him a season this season, I think he could become really, really good. He's he's tipped as one of the best youngsters in the game, fairly cheap. You know, he's not this really well known, but he can become very good if looked after well. So I'm hoping I can get that with him. So. I'm just going to continue on. I have to submit my numbers. He's going to fit in nicely into my team as well. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue on with this. And I will see you guys in the match. So I knew I was taking a gamble by playing the two new signings. But a lot of my players were very tired and obviously have a couple of injuries. So, you know, I had to play them. And Danny Fox there, he's got a peach over the left foot. And on that free kick was something else. Smashed the crossbar I did. You can see Sonogo has an injury there. He picked up a light injury. But I persisted with him and it paid off by him setting up uh, Schneiderlin for a shot from outside the box once again he's getting on the score sheet uh, so I was happy that one of my uh, 
new signings have made an impact, then all of a sudden we break down the left wing, balls crossed in to Padalino who heads the ball, he's not known for his heading, but he makes an impact as well. And I was expecting to be put under a lot more pressure by um, Brighton, you know, with Vicente and Craig McCoyle Smith, I thought it would be under a lot of pressure, but it wasn't. Finally, here's the final goal for Trinel, Sanogo gets on the score sheet, two debut goals from the two new signings, finishes 3-0, so that's another good result, and you know, whenever you go away, because the championship is so competitive, it's always good to go away and get the win like that. Um, it was absolutely fantastic. Um, I think, yeah, yeah, Sanogo, great sign already, passionate. Uh, great second half, well done. Padalino, why is he getting angered? Because he said, why can't you Okay, there you go. Okay, he's back happy again. But yeah, overall, it was a great performance away from Brighton. And we are sitting still at the top of the league. League starting to shape itself up there. You can see West Ham, Middlesbrough all doing there. I expect West Ham to be right up there because they've got a quality thing. And the match goes to pa Padalino. Well, fair play to you. I would have thought it's a no-go. But nevertheless, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.